prosopagnosia is also known as a alzheimer disease b sensory deprivation c face blindness d touch sensitivity and the correct answer is c face blindness prosopagnosia also known as face blindness means you cannot recognize people's faces face blindness often affects people from birth and is usually a problem a person has for most or all of their life face blindness can have a severe impact on everyday life what condition is caused by the deposition of salts of uric acid a osteoporosis b arthritis c gout d rheumatism and the correct answer is c gout gout is a type of arthritis that occurs when extra uric acid in the body forms crystals in the joints the crystals cause pain and swelling which of these is not a component of a neuron a terminal buttons b myelin sheath c hydrocephalus d dendrites and the correct answer is c hydrocephalus terminal buttons myelin sheath and dendrites are all components of a neuron whereas hydrocephalus is a disease condition Which of these might be prescribed to a patient who has been diagnosed with major depressive disorder? A NSAIDs, B SSRI, C norepinephrine, D acetylcholine. And the correct answer is B SSRI. That is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are a class of drugs that are typically used as antidepressants. They are used in the treatment of major depressive disorder, anxiety disorders and other psychological conditions. In Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which needs are considered the most primary? a physiological b esteem c self actualization d love belonging and the correct answer is a physiological according to maslow's hierarchy of needs physiological needs are considered the most primary it is because they are the most essential things a person needs to survive Physiological needs include need for shelter, water, food, warmth, rest and health. Which of these is not a part of the brain stem? A midbrain, B medulla oblongata, C cerebellum, D pons. And the correct answer is C cerebellum Midbrain medulla oblongata and pons are all parts of a brain stem whereas cerebellum is not a part of the brain stem Which part of the human body does multiple sclerosis affect A reproductive system B nervous system C digestive system D respiratory system and the correct answer is B nervous system multiple sclerosis is a disabling disease of the central nervous system particularly the brain and spinal cord it is a disease in which the myelin sheaths are destroyed multiple sclerosis causes many different symptoms including vision loss pain fatigue and impaired coordination the symptoms severity and duration can vary from person to person some people may be symptom free for most of their lives 
while others can have severe chronic symptoms that never go away. What is a more formal term for the disease called pink eye? A. Conjectivitis B. Oculitis C. Exophthalmia D. Astigmatism And the correct answer is A. Conjectivitis People often call conjectivitis pink eye because it can cause the white of the eye to take on a pink or red color. Symptoms of pink eye can vary but typically include redness or swelling of the white of the eye. If you become infested with worms, what kind of drug will you need? A. Antifungal B. Antibiotic C. Antihelminthic D. Antimalarial And the correct answer is C. Antihelminthic Antihelminthics are a type of medicine that kills helmins. Helmins are worm-like parasites such as flukes, roundworms and tapeworms. Astigmatism affects which part of the human body? A. Elbows B. Kidneys C. Eyes D. Lymph nodes and the correct answer is C. Eyes Astigmatism is a condition in which your eye, especially your cornea or the clear front part of the eyeball is not completely round. Who introduced the antiseptic principle into surgery? A. William Thomas Green Morton B. Alexis Carroll C. Louis Pasteur D. Joseph Lister And the correct answer is D. Joseph Lister Antisepsis is the method of using chemicals called antiseptics to destroy the germs that cause infections. This method was developed by British surgeon Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister found a way to prevent infection in wounds during and after surgery. Patients with schizophrenia will most likely display which of the following change in their brains? A. Blood clots B. Enlarged ventricles C. Discoloration of connective tissues D. Both A and C And the correct answer is B. Enlarged ventricles Enlarged ventricles are most likely seen in patients with schizophrenia. Who is known as the father of classical conditioning? A. Jean Paul B. B. F. Skinner C. Sigmund Freud D. Ivan Pavlov And the correct answer is D. Ivan Pavlov Classical conditioning is a form of unconscious learning that was popularized by Ivan Pavlov, a Russian physiologist. Today, classical conditioning is often used as a therapeutic technique to change or modify negative behaviors such as substance abuse. When Pavlov discovered classical conditioning, he was performing unrelated research on dog digestion. He noticed how the dog's reactions to the food they were being fed evolved based on stimuli in the test environment, which had nothing to do with the actual food he was giving to them. What type of structure is the peritoneum which connects and supports your internal organs? A. A muscle B. A joint C. A bone D. A membrane And the correct answer is D. A membrane Peritoneum is a membrane, a sheet of smooth tissue that lines your abdominopelvic cavity and surrounds your abdominal organs. 
इट हेल्प टू होल्ड देम इन प्लेस एंड सेक्रेट से लुब्रिकेटिंग फ्लूड टू रेड्यूस फ्रिक्शन वेन दे रब अगेंस्ट ईच अदर वेर आर द पैलेट एंड यूव्यूला लोकेटेड ए वेजैना बी माउथ सी एलबो डी नी एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.